Hello and welcome back again. This is Beatrice Nilo with the Town Criers News Association, bringing you an interview with the lovely Nix. Thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. We're on location at the, what is the name of this charming little pub? The new one that you all just have gone to? I don't remember. Something about a lamb. Or was it a pig? Bangled lamb? No. Bangled sheep. That's it. I just knew it was something shiny. Very good. All right. Now, it is so good to make your acquaintance. I have just a few minor questions that the general public are curious on. Okay. That have been watching us along the way. We'll start easy. I'll give you a nice little soft one. Describe your happy place. You know... I kind of like being in a bank. They're nice and shiny and clean. Oh, so clean. A, a bank? Yes. All right. Okay. That's an interesting choice for sure. Not surprised. I am very not surprised on that one. Mm. Let's tap into your life just a bit. Okay. Describe a, a childhood hero. A childhood hero. Serona. She's just... She's not an idol. I just very much feel like I can connect with her because I'm very similar in a way. Fancy yourself a goddess, do you? Mm, not a goddess. Just close enough. I, I very much love the fact that she heals people. It's kind of like me and my objects. I run into these beautiful objects that had these homes that were just unbefitting of them, and they need a new one. So I give them a new home, just like her in healing. Speaking of Serona, our viewers might remember that you appropriated a robe from one of her temples. Yes. And later were a part of the group that some believe caused her to appear. I don't know what you are talking about. Do you, Can you explain a little bit more what you think? Well, what we're just curious about is, do you have an affinity towards her besides just her apparently being your hero? Mm, she is definitely someone I have strongly learned about from my mother. Your mother? Oh. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your family? Where Nyx came from? Well, I did come from a much different place than this. Definitely didn't come after this queen side. Um, but I will say my mom is an elf. My dad is a gnome, a rock gnome. Um, they're a little bit different when it comes to beliefs. She was very, very, very strong with the healing side. He, I would say, played around with the idea of Orasho. I think I said the name wrong. Hmm. Horatio? Horatio. Uh-huh. Okay, so Horatio and a, uh, Frickit. Frickit. Frickit? Frickit. Um, he, being a rock gnome, was very much into history and knowledge. Her, with her elven side, was very uh, outspoken about how we need to have better care of our bodies and our, our actions. Very interesting. Were you close with any of your family? Very close with my parents. Very, very close. I notice it sounds as though that's past tense. They died of a sickness that they could not overcome. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's fine. I learned very fast from there. I can guess. <laughs> I'm sure that that's led you to many different... Um, how should I put this? Unique choices. Speaking of choices, what drew you to your class? Uh, my dad, he was kind of a, a tinkerer of himself, but also the fact that I love the idea of the world fitting my needs. Just kind of tweaking it here and pushing this lovely little object into another side and the way the wheels can turn from there. It's a bit like tricking people into doing what you want. That's not what I said at all. 
Have you ever been tricked into doing or saying something? Oh, now I see why you thought that. Um, yeah, you you could say that before. I uh, I once found this beautiful box. I was probably eighty in human years, fifteen ish in um my my years. <laughs> well, they uh. They came to me and told me how I took this object from them and tried to say I stole it when it really just came to me. Uh, and then they told me how I have a great ability that they would love to keep molded and keep it going and try to teach me how to do things better um, instead of stealing it and finding a way to better not just myself but a group. It was a great idea, a marvelous idea, a uh, no, marvelous push, just didn't fit. Kind of like a cog in the wrong wheel. I see, I see. Um, it's all very, very interesting. Why don't we take an interesting left turn? A ghost appears in front of you. What do you do? Hello! I just ask him, how is he and... Say hello. All right. Well, that was a turn. So we'll guide it on back then. Most ghosts, especially, have unfinished business or have something that they wish that they could redo from their lives. What's a moment in your life that you would have liked to have redone and why? Hmm. A moment I wish I could redo. Well, there's actually two. I kind of want a different chance at. But I can't go back in time. Kind of how history works. But uh, I wouldn't have tried to steal the necklace and procure the necklace better um, off the queen's neck. I would have uh, done that differently. Not, not that time. Maybe a different time or not at all. I don't know. But it gave me an opportunity to, uh, to seize, to get myself a little bit better off than I was at the time but then I um I got asked to help with another deed and I went to go help this group and they uh they came to me with great reason and I procured myself a coin and it so happens that that coin has caused me so much havoc with two other people of course she's speaking of the coin of favor that she stole <clears throat> or procured that was to be used for Cal was it yeah and he hasn't quite understood why and now he's gotten pushy about it yes you two certainly seem to have um, altered your views on each other to a degree in recent events yeah you don't keep pushing and then not have an answer coming back. Well, speaking of things we receive, what are some of the best gifts you've ever received? Well, there's one in particular, but there was uh, the fact that my dad, I got his tinkering kit. That was nice. Um, but the one that really hits me is this beautiful bracelet. It's got pearls and rubies. It's supposed to be very enlightening. Um, it was gifted to me very sweetly. And and I can honestly say it's one of my favorite charms. That's very, that's very interesting. Does the um, person who gifted it to you know that it's such a keepsake? I don't know. I honestly have no clue because I've not ran into them again. Mm. Obviously, you've been traveling with this group for a while <laughs> and have had your ups and downs. Would you yes. like to tell us some of the thoughts behind the, um, as I understood it, there was a, a battle that took place inside of the Shattered Monk? Um, are you talking about the woman who stole my mouth? Yes, I believe that was the um, chain of events I heard of. Yeah, she was not very nice. I just had nothing else I could do. So at the time, uh, 
I noticed two other people who had the ability to do what I couldn't do anymore, which is fire. Get rid of the hell beast. Uh, they finally figured it out after they decided to give up on trying to figure out what I was trying to tell them. So I walked away and decided to get them some healing potions, which mildly came successful. I got at least one, but yeah, that's all I could do. So that's what I did. Understood, understood. <laughs> Obviously, you seem to always be on the lookout for new opportunities. It seems that at times you have separated yourself from the group for various reasons. <laughs> Would you like to enlighten the general public as to some of those things that we wouldn't be quite privy to? Mm -hmm. Things you wouldn't be privy to? Hmm. I can only say I have other job duties to attend sometimes, and those job duties do not pertain to the guilds that we are, we, I say we, more them, uh, is trying to build. Do you not consider yourself part of this group? Not quite. Though, I will say they are much different people. So the predicament I found myself in, it's, uh, it's unexpected and they are much more like people I want to be with, want to see in the world. They just have a lot more growing to do. I feel like all of you to some degree have that to look forward to. After all, none of you are exactly, you know, pushing the elder years. Now, let's see. Uh, let's do something more fluffy. Would you move to a new country for someone you love? Love? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I would have to find that person first. Understood. There would have to be a lot of change for me to have that happen. I understand. It's definitely a big issue for some. I am used to working alone. As I told Kale, I'm just... I'm working on this new development of people. Like I said, they're what I want to see in the world. Is that the ship name you've assigned to Helen Cal is Kale? Yes. I see. They're just always together. I was just making it clearer for our general viewing audience. Thank you very much um, for all of this. I feel that we have only just barely dug in to what really makes up Nyx, but I feel as though we need to watch and wait before you're ready to truly let us in. More or less. I would say I've let you in as far as you need to go. We'll look forward to hopefully getting more in future conversations. We'll see what time gives. Won't we? All right. Well, I think that will do it for today. Thank you again for taking time out to speak with me. Mm -hmm. We will look forward to following you and your uh, group, not group, as you all continue adventuring on. Thank you. Thank you very much.